Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to simplify this given expression. So we have got square root of 625 plus square root of 624 that is under the big square root. Okay, we need to try to simplify this as much as possible. And this will be a very interesting question. So I would like to encourage you to watch this video till the end. And if you like my content, kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, so let us see how we can simplify this radical expression. So we already know that 625 is a perfect square, right? Square root of 625 is equal to 25. Okay, we can straight away put that value over there. So we have got square root of six, uh, root of 625 is nothing but 25 plus 624 is not a perfect square. But we can write 624 as 4 times 156. So I'm going to express this in terms of 4 because 4 is a perfect square, right? And here we can separate the 4. We can take it outside because we have got 25 plus square root of 4 is nothing but 2, right? And let's keep this root 156 inside the square root itself. Now, once again, we have square root of 25 plus 2 times this 156 can be written as 12 times 13 you can check this multiplication 12 times 13 is nothing but 156 now we have got 12 and 13 inside the square root i want to relate this 12 and 13 with this 25 how can we relate both of them i guess uh, you must have figured that out by now so we can write 25 as 12 plus 13 isn't it yes that's equal to 25 plus 2 times the square root of 12 times 13 let me extend this square root here now this 12 over here can be written as square root of 12 the whole square right it's nothing but 12 plus 13 can be written as square root of 13 the whole square plus we have got 2 times under root of 12 times 13 this can be separated as root 12 times root 13 we can do this using the property of square roots let me extend this once again now why have i done all this and brought this expression into this form because you can see that the expression inside the square root it resembles something that we already know what is that yes it resembles the algebraic identity a plus b whole square right so you can see that it is of the form a square plus b square plus 2ab right so this root 12 square plus root 13 square plus 2 into root 12 into root 13 so this is exactly of this form and we know that this is equal to a plus b whole square so this is the reason why i did this because we basically want to remove this big square root so we have to express the term inside the radical as a perfect square then only we can get rid of the square root symbol so using that identity we can write the expression inside the square root as root 12 plus root 13 the whole square which is nothing but a plus b whole square now we can cancel out this square and this square root and this term will come outside the square root that is root 12 plus root 13 so this will be our answer to the question okay if you want you can further simplify this square root of 12 right we can write square root of 12 as uh, 4 times 3 and square root of 4 will be 2 but i would like to keep this as it is because this result looks more beautiful right so the expression that we started was this complicated looking expression but we simplified it to this simple looking expression square root of 12 plus square root of 13 using the algebraic identity okay i hope all of you enjoyed the video for more such videos kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video i will see you all in the next video